the final date of eligibility and the deadline for closure documents is fixed in the regulation. That is the 31st December 2015 and, the, and in consequence, uh, the submission of closure documents, the 31st of March 2017. And there is, in principle, no extension possible. An extension would be only possible if we modify the regulation. Modifying the regulation is not possible because the general re regulation is repealed. So if, and this was in the discussion in the, last, uh, in the last council, in the last European Council, if there would be the intention to extend the deadlines, we would have to attack the CB CPR, uh, the, the new regulation where you have some uh, transitional requirements. And within these transitional requirements, you could uh, even uh, foresee some extension as well of the deadline. Now I must say that this uh, extension of the deadline was turned down by uh, uh, the majority of member states in the last, uh, in the last uh, council. So I don't think, as the discussion was very broad in the last council, that there will be not a political decision coming to an extension of the deadline. Uh, so we should live with the deadline as it's fixed at the moment, the 31st December 2015. And the conclusion which has been taken in the Council to help member states which are running into, uh, under commitment, uh, in, into decommitments is very much in the sense of saying, okay, we don't want to change the legal provisions. We want within the legal provisions uh, extend to a maximum the flexibility which is provided. Another element is that we close on a priority level. We don't have any more the measure levels which existed in the 2000-2006 closure. We close on the priority level. What is new is the flexibility which has been added. So you can overdraft now uh, priority access by 10%. Uh, this was added in the last modification of the general regulation in 2013. You can overdraft a priority access by 10%. So if you have a priority access which from the point of execution is very successful. In this case, you can take this priority access and declare more expenditure, up to 10% more expenditure for this priority access. And by this, assure a full absorption of the program because in other priority access, you have an underspending. It is always what is limited, you have to take into account, what is limited is the, the overdraft. So it's the, uh, the overbooking of a priority access. It can be not more than 10%. The uh, underdraft, so the, the underspending of a priority access can be 50%, can be uh, uh, more, but you have to be assured that there's never more than 10% uh, overdraft. So if you have a large priority access, which can be, it can help uh, that these 10% serve a lot of small priority access which are not so performing in uh, the absorption at the date of closure.